never heard before, but I've revealed it for the first time to you. It's some things that they would think don't exist or are untrue. And he told me before I say lay gave the prophetic word that people will not understand it at first, but they will understand it as the unfolding takes place. And he meant as time progressed and went on, people are going to remember the message that you gave them months ago, a year ago during Bible study and be like, oh, I remember when Quint said that a long time ago. I didn't agree with her then. I didn't believe her then. So I'm encouraging you all today. If God told you to say it, say it because it came from God. He, he is responsible and accountable for every consequence that he brings based on whether people obey the word of the Lord or hear the word of the Lord or heed the word of the Lord. God is responsible for that if he's the one that said it. So we have to, first of all, make sure we're hearing from the Holy Spirit anytime we release a prophetic word. Don't worry about whether it's been done before, said before, whether other people are saying it. If God sent you to say it on a Saturday or a Tuesday or a Monday to the body of Christ, you better say it on the and exactly how he said to say it and don't add anything to it. Now, I have an opinion sometimes or I, I have feelings sometimes about different, many different things. And sometimes I understand what God says because he gives me understanding and insight to what he says. But I just want to encourage you. We're in a season right now, y'all, of just obedience to the voice of the Lord. God is telling us a lot of things that we're not used to hearing in this season. And we better get very uncomfortable being religious so that we don't get left behind. Because there's a lot of people who think that they did right by God and they're doing the right thing by God. And a lot of them are going to be left behind because the things that God are do is doing in this season is unprecedented. The things that God is doing in this season are unheard of. The things that God is doing and saying in this season are hard to receive. They're harsh words. Words of judgment. Like I've said many times before, God is not telling me often to release a prophetic word to tell you to buy Bitcoin or to tell you that it's getting ready to turn around in your favor or to tell you that you're getting ready to get a house or you're getting ready to get a car. And so people don't like those words. People don't flock to words where they're not being, their egos aren't being stroked. Their flesh is not being exalted. People don't flock to block to those words and God told me this is what this is what you are to do this is a part of your ministry besides teaching the my word it's a part of your ministry to tell people my truth and it's hard because this nation has made our bed in lies and filth and wickedness so when you tell people opposite of the lies of filth and wickedness that they choose to believe because it makes them comfortable it makes their mind okay with being wicked when you tell people opposite of that, people do not like you as a prophet or a servant of the living God. They don't like you, okay? You're not welcome to their church conferences. Um, they're not going to get a sword out and dub you um, the new pastor of the mega church because you are speaking the words of the Lord and people don't like that. People don't like that. People don't like that. So I'm encouraging you today to continue to go with God. If God sent you and he said, say it, and he said, go, you better go, woman of God. You better go, man of God, servant of the living God. Otherwise, you'll have the wrath of God upon you. You will see the reward of the wicked if you don't tell people what God said. Because withholding the word of the Lord when he gave it to you is wicked. Go read the book of Jonah. So we have to answer to the almighty king. We don't have the option, you guys, to stand back and watch. I heard a man of God say the other day that indifference is, um, what did he say? Indifference is an endorsement. So you endorse people when you just indifferent. Oh, no, I don't have an opinion. Oh, no, I don't have anything to say. And meanwhile, people are like, wait, ain't, aren't you a man of God? Do you stand for righteousness or do you stand for wickedness? Which one is it, people of God? What side are you on? Whose side are you on? Are you over there or are you over here? Because Jesus said, I came to draw a clear line. I came to bring the sword. And what does the sword do? It separates. The sword separates truth from a lie, wicked from righteous. That's what the sword does. That's what he said he came to do, to bring the sword. His truth is going to pit family members against each other. His truth is going to pit best friends 
against each other really good you know christian friends against each other because there are some people who still want a little bit of the world there are some people who still want a little bit of wickedness they want to go to church on sunday they want to do their little you know reading their little bible here and there and they want to be wicked the rest of the days of the week and be evil and accept lies and 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 deceit the rest of the days of the week not so anymore god is drawing a clear line y'all in this season and either we're on the side of wickedness or either we're on the side of righteousness so we better get into our words to see what god said we better get into our words to know his character what he would say and what he would not say and we better get into his presence to know that he's speaking more than ever right now he's speaking He's speaking to his his people. He's speaking to the center right now. He's unctioning a lot of people. He's he's shaking up a lot of people right now. To tell them, I'm coming soon. And if you've been in my word, hold fast to what you have. Hold on to what you have. The fact that Jesus even had to say that was because a lot of people are not going to hold on to what they have and know to be true. They're going to allow the world to muddy and dirty and filth up and funk up and stank up what God has called truth. A lot of people are not going to hold on to what they have. That's why Jesus said it. We better be watching and we better be praying and we better be moving in this season and doing our kingdom assignment because our king is coming sooner than you than you think and sooner than the world would like to acknowledge. The world does not want to acknowledge the return of our king, but he is com he is coming.